Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, you know, before he got here, uh, you know, I overheard some questions about his motor. Uh, you know, I think that was something that was well known, known about him. And, you know, Coach Woodson, and I think the team has stayed on him about it. And that's, I think that's the reason why he's, he's averaging what he's averaging right now. And he's doing a hell of a job. And I think he's going to continue to be that be that type of guy and, and continue to, to play like that. Yeah, Khalil, uh, before the season, you, you had said that you wanted to prove people wrong that had doubted you in the past. I guess, do you feel like you've done that? Uh, <clears throat> it's always still more to prove. So I don't feel like I've, you know, proven myself just yet. Well done, Zach. Khalil, uh, tie game at 64, 17 seconds left. You were 0 for 5 after that first miss. Kind of what was from the free throw line, what was going through your mind uh, as you approached that second shot? Just don't think, shoot. That's all I was just thinking. Just don't think, shoot. I guess X, you and Trey have, have kind of played so well together these last few games. Then he goes out after the starts you guys had, things kind of grind down a little bit offensively. What did you as a team maybe have to work out, you know, going to a shorter rotation? And, and what did you kind of find as maybe the primary ball handler was what you needed to give the team most, especially maybe those last... I don't know, eight, ten minutes? Uh, you know, I was just focused on, you know, in the first half, you know, I think I was trying to do too much. In the second half, uh, you know, I tried to control the, control the game a little bit more, a little bit more better. Uh, I think, we, you know, we, we went to the bigs a lot uh, at, the, at the end because, you know, there they are, they are big pieces to the team. And, you know, they made plays they made, and they made the right plays. And that, and that you know, is the result winning. Alex, you guys were up 15 early, then I think they get up seven in the second half. What allowed you guys to kind of get – control back I mean not necessarily control but get your composure back when when they take that seven point lead and you know it obviously could have gone the other way but you guys were able to get things uh, back in your direction uh, I mean, honestly, I think this is a different team going on in the stretch. Uh, you know, I think the the, the whole team a uh, uh, couple games ago would have probably quit. Uh, you know, we, we can be. I think I don't think we take punches as well. Uh, but but now I think we we really do take the punches. Well, we know we want to hit back and we, and we want to you know win win games. And you know, and it's coming down to the point where it's March. George and Zion. Xavier, um, up one when Khalil made the second free throw. And they had one chance, and it was obviously they were probably going to go to Walker, and they're battling for that ball. And you, you come racing down that floor. What was going through your mind when you had that ball? And you're racing to the other <laughs> end of the floor. You see, I was, I was thinking, you know, because my it's crazy because I had to play like that my my senior year in high school. Uh, you know, last game too as well. Uh, I used the I, I would have probably dunked it, and I looked up. I said I got time, but I was like. Uh, nah, I'm not trying to get hurt. So, I mean, that, that was going through my mind. I just didn't want to, you know, get hurt for real because <laughs> I, I don't want to miss any more games. Khalil, just with your recent performances and the, the three 20-point games you've had lately, what do you think has led to you becoming just more aggressive offensively? Um, Just, I don't just want to win. You know, of course, I've been wanting to win the whole season, but I feel like uh, just, just looking past it, I feel like I just need to be more aggressive, and that's what I've been doing on the offensive end and just trying to help my team as much as I can on the defensive end and just to come out with the win. Daniel, then we'll wrap up Mike Schiff. Xavier, um, at the end there, it looked like you were kind of in that corner, and then you got mobbed, and then you walked off. Uh, I think you had the rock in your left hand. Um, right hand was kind of wiping away a little bit of whatever you want to call that. Emotionally, what's kind of in your head? As you're walking off the court, uh, you know it's tears of joy. Uh, you know, uh, you know I've battled th th throughout the whole year, uh, mentally and physically. Um, you know, those are just, you know, th those those final seconds is just like it's my it's really my last game, um, and it's just crazy because you know from where I started and to where I finished, and I know it's know it's been a difficult year. It's like I, I still push through everything I've, I've been through, and you know I feel I, I went I got to the finish line. And not quite there yet because, you know, we still got more basketball left and we want to finish the right way, like I keep saying. Uh, but I'm, I'm really, really proud of myself and I'm really proud of my teammates too as well. Last question, Mike. Well, after Trey went down with that injury, it seemed like the offense stagnated a little bit. Was there a point in which the coaches told you you need to take the game over or is that just something instinctively you knew on your own? <clears throat> Well, Trey is definitely a, a big part of, you know, our, our our offense, you know, with him just being able to get downhill, either throw the lob or even just get to his flow offensively. And with him going down, I just felt like not even just me, but everybody on the team just had to step up in if, if we wanted to get that win. And I feel like that's what we did. So.